it's New Hampshire, and it's NASCAR.com Garage Cam, presented by Mobile One. These cars of the Spring Cup Series are about to hit the track here. And that's my worst attempt at a New England accent. Anyway, this is Matthew Diller. I'm your host of NASCAR.com Garage Cam, your live streaming show only on NASCAR.com, presented by Mobile One. And there's Ryan Blaney's car. Don't worry about the moisture you see at the bottom of this shot. It just makes a pretty reflection. The rain seems to be gone. Oh, I said it, the R word, the dreaded R word. We should get this practice underway, possibly on time here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. So, uh, be ready, folks. Ryan Newman's car, three-time winner here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway, and that car about to go into the laser inspection. You see those little discs that are put on that tire? That's when you know it's going into the inspection station over there with the lasers. And of course, that was a major story last week following uh, the race at Chicago, Jimmy Johnson and the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. failing laser inspection post-race, uh, but by a very small margin, uh, second week in a row that the uh, 78 team has failed that, but uh, by a very small margin. So Steve O'Donnell and everybody with NASCAR uh, making a ruling uh, with uh, the tolerances to where they will not be losing points and the teams won't be losing points after the race if it's by that small of a margin. But now the big change is all the teams that are in the chase will go through the laser inspection post-race. So not just the top five and a random. So it's going to be a big thing post-race in each one of these chase races for all these chasers, including two-time winner this year in 2016, the Kevin Harvick car with the Ditech Home Loans paint scheme for you this week at Loudon. And we roll over here to Ryan Blaney. Blaney making his second start here. He finished 11th in July. Has a truck race here under his belt as well. Does Ryan Blaney. 11th place finish when he was driving for BKR in the truck series, but uh, Ryan Blaney attempting to make his third race. Remember, this team doesn't have a charter, so that's been the thing all season long. He's got to qualify to get in, and that 21 car is always slick, always fast. Young, talented race car driver. Knoxville's Trevor Bain. Let's bring it inside this garage area here. If you're new to NASCAR.com garage cam, make sure you uh, click that little white chat bubble towards the top of the screen. And uh, tell us who you are, where you're from, what you want to see on garage cam. Hey, chime into the chat room. If you want to see these two studly men here, hanging out in the garage area you can uh trevor bain and ricky stenhouse uh, i saw last night you were at a uh, the football game yeah the patriots game they, they pitched a, a shutout open. yeah it was uh it was nice um everybody on the field was uh before the game was like man you came to a crazy game we're not sure how this is going to go third string quarterback with no backup and uh and he's running uh head first into some tackles and I was like man this guy's tough uh, it was a good game it was fun that's cool all right about you did you go last night Trevor I did not go to the game last no night. no so were you jealous seeing all the fancy sweet treatment that uh Stenhouse had here I'll be honest I didn't turn on my tv yesterday so uh yeah, that's probably I didn't even know he was there so <laughs> now I know that's not what we we're talking about but well, well I won't ask you what you're talking about yeah uh, racing but you can tell us yeah. race racing of course figuring out these race cars man figure out these race cars Loudon is such a challenge for you guys for anybody here because it, you know the race man at home looks at this track and it looks pretty basic it's an oval but it's flat and it's really tough to get around yeah it's really demanding on mechanical grip uh, even being a short track aero grip's important uh try to find that balance always and uh, we've never been super successful here but we're always working to try to make our cars better at this place specifically and uh we're hoping to be a little bit better each time we come back and it seems like you haven't been too bad here i believe your top finish off the top of my head is like 11th here so um, uh we've actually got two or three top tens you do so, okay yeah. so Dillner's wrong it's okay yeah yeah it's uh but we need to run better throughout the race we've We've gotten good finishes, you know, being around, getting in the right lanes on the restarts at the end. Um, you know, so we're always trying to make our mechanical grip better for a place like this, like Trevor was saying. So, um, you know, it's it's a place I do look forward to come to because I feel like driver, you can manipulate the car a little bit here uh, because the racetrack's flatter. 
and uh, you're able to, to move around, use the brakes different, use the throttle different, use the, you know, the banking in the corners different, and, um, and sometimes just make your car get around here. So looking forward to practice soon. All right, I promise I'll get the stats right next time. <laughs> Ricky Stanhouse here, the number 17 fast and all ride. That's what I get for trying to, trying to remember things during the show. But the fast and all ride right there in the uh, Brian Clawson tribute helmet inside of the number 17 car. And this team has shown a lot of improvement from time to time this year. And across the board with Roush Fenway Racing, um, you've seen some improvement this year. Of course, not exactly where they want to be. But hey, progress is progress. They want fast progress, so they want to get one of their cars before the end of the season in victory lane. Greg Biffle, the number 16, they do have a affiliate car in the chase with Chris Busher, so um, so it's not you know it's not like they're that far off. First in the chat today, first in our interactive garage, the pole position goes to Leah Bartlett. Oh. Leah Bartlett, there you go. It's great to see you on the show every week. And of course, you want to see Casey Kane. You're a big Garage Camp uh, faithful, and uh, we appreciate you very much. Nature's Bakery on the number 10 car right here, Danica Patrick. And also just heard that the Nature's Bakery is stepping up and sponsoring the Motor Racing Outreach Better Half Dash, which is an awesome event each year at Charlotte Motor Speedway, I believe on Thursday uh, night. Uh, Thursday, Friday night, qualifying night, maybe, or whatever. I uh, uh, don't know exact date. At Charlotte Motor Speedway, where the wives and girlfriends get to run in Bandolero race cars. Uh, what a hoot that is right there. Uh, Kyle Larson's wife is uh, competing, and as well as a lot of other people in the sport. But uh, kudos to Nature's Bakery for stepping up and supporting more than just this 10 car and Danica Patrick, but having an overall impact in our sport. So many of our great sponsors do that, including the Menards, uh, brand right here that is on so many race cars, uh, not just uh, Sprint Cup Series, but throughout uh, motorsports. Paul Menard, the number 27 right here. Clint Boyer, his last nine races with the H. Scott Racing Team. It's a big question mark to what the H. Scott, Harry Scott Racing Team will look like in 2017 finding out more about that soon. Of course, Clint Boyer moving on. He's going to replace Tony Stewart in that number 14 car at Stewart Haas Racing. Is there anything cooler than seeing the king? Looking over the horsepower in that Ford right there. Leaning in. Looked like he was going to make an adjustment on the carburetor, but no. Checking the spark plugs, making sure uh, that wire is... In. 200 times Richard Petty has visited Victory Lane in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series and the seven-time champion of our sport. Only two drivers have won seven championships in NASCAR Sprint Cup Series racing. Drew Blickensterfer, the new crew chief at the helm of the Ar Amarola number 43, as the king looks over and you know it's one of those moments where you stop because uh, as a kid I probably wrote about eight book reports about Richard Petty because I would get away with them with new teachers every year uh, an American icon and uh, personally kind of a, a guy that I always looked up to not just because of what he did on the track and, and his brand and the fact that he'll walk in with cowboy boots cowboy hat and sunglasses inside and that's the epitome of cool and a belt buckle the size of a baby's head but the bottom line is Richard Petty and the Petty family, what they have done for others, people less fortunate, um, has always been something that has stuck with me since day one. From sitting at the back of his hauler after races all over the country to take the time and sign every autograph to a lot of the things that the Petties do via charity. And Richard Petty going over to Spanky there, probably going to get some food. Spanky right there, truck driver extraordinaire and uh, cooks for the number 43 team. This is Inside Access here on NASCAR.com, and uh, we always try to show you the behind-the-scenes people of our sport. So we did have a little rain shower this morning, passed through, uh, gave me the opportunity to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get a nice uh, pumpkin donut and some munchkins for our uh, trailer. Casey Mears is 
Geico Gecko Rye, the number 13. They got this puppy up on scale pads right now, doing some adjustments, looking at the weight transferring, the percentages, the cross weight, the left and right percentages, and getting this thing dialed in. You see the scale pads right there? It's not just about, okay, how much the car weighs overall, but every adjustment you make on these cars transfers weight, not only left, left to right, but cross weight. Uh, so these cars are very delicate. So a slight adjustment of a turn or two on the track bar right there makes a huge difference on the scales when you're looking at the numbers at the front here of these digital scales. Oh man, this is pretty cool. I got a, I got a message, a text message from uh, the Levine family racing team two days ago. And it was an awesome picture. And I was looking at the picture and going, what the heck is this? And I saw the car and I was like, man, that is just cool looking. Well, here it is. Rat Rods by the number 95. Uh, a really cool paint scheme. They decided to do this to pay homage to uh, Rat Rods, Hot Rodding, uh, the Northeast uh, vintage uh, kind of feel that we have up here between modified racing and uh, Hot Rods. They just kind of thought it would be a cool thing to do. And uh, the Rat Rods scheme here is definitely uh, going to be one that is a favorite on the racetrack here at Loudon. Pretty cool logo too. Rat Rod, Circle Sport, Levine Family Racing. The number 38 right alongside Landon Castle. ThePeteStore.com, new sponsor on the side of this Ford. And Front Row Motorsports, what a boost this team has this season. Having a car uh, in the chase is such a huge thing for any team. We saw it last year with A.J. Amendinger and how much it helped that team uh, over here. Uh, of course, it's going to help this team as well. So uh, a lot of knowledge uh, coming from Ford, by the way, of Front Row Motorsports. And uh, you're going to see a little bit of a difference as we go throughout this chase in the uh, competition here throughout this team. And it's definitely going to uh, go to next year as well, where you're going to see an improvement here from front, front row motorsports. Putting the real tires on this puppy right here in these good years right here. Same left side tires we've used since 2012. Um, same tire combination that we've used here uh, uh, earlier this year in July. So uh, team's very familiar with these tires here and the truck series running the same tire codes as well. Both series will be running them this year. These beautiful Goodyear Eagles ready to hit the track here and a little bit of a compound change for the truck guys that they haven't run before, but uh, the same tires that they ran here in July for the Cup Series and those left tire side tires for a while. Hey, check it out. It's uh, Michael McDowell. Let me come over here so I can see the car. McDizzle has joined us here. McDowell, uh, you got to tell me about this Rat Rods uh, car because it's one of the coolest things in the garage. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Uh, very creative. Uh, Joe Chisholm, that guy right there. He's the man, the brains behind the madness here. Um, just wanted to do something different this weekend, uh, you know, coming up here to the Northeast. And uh, we, we thought Rat Rods are awesome. They're cool, a lot of fun. And so we came up with this concept and turned out really nice. You know, it's a love or hate thing. You either love it or you hate it, but uh, so far we got a lot of love with this paint scheme. Hey, Rust and Patina is cool, <laughs> man. Uh, have you ever wanted a rat rod or anything oh, like that? Them, or? Yeah, uh, when Chizzy started talking about it, uh, Joey Logano, he's got a couple of rat rods. There's uh, a lot of them in the Charlotte area. Very cool. It's something that would be fun to do a project with my son and build something. That's awesome. Well, the rat rods uh, deal, you're going to shake the rust off here at, at uh, Loudon and uh, and try to get a good finish? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we so had you like that? You like where I went with that? Shake the rust off. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, we're uh, we're excited. You know, we're home stretch here. We got to fight hard, get some good finishes, finish off the season. But really proud of my guys and what they're bringing every weekend. You got it, Michael McDowell. This number 95 rat rod scheme, and oh boy, is that a? I think it's going to be a fan fan favor. Vintage and cool, and I, I think it's pretty hip. Speaking of hip, there's CJ Latiers, our audio guy. He's hip, except for the hat. Eagles. Oh man, that poor kid. Not everybody could be perfect. 2-0, baby, 2-0. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm a Carolina Panthers guy. 1-1, <laughs> one one, but hey, should have been 2-0. Don't mean to pick on my kicker, man. Gano's, he's a good dude. I like him. 
The number 23, David Reagan. We are, are we really halfway? We're halfway, says our flagman. How about, we, NASCAR needs a bearded flagman. Maybe we could get him up there. We could talk about that with Hoots. And get Will Yeager up there. Hey, the proud papa. Regan Smith, new dad. Child number two. Congratulations, he and Megan. That's awesome. Brian Scott, Cottonelle Viva, Shore Lodge, a lot of sponsors on this number 44 car this week. As we motor on through the garage area, Matt Di Benedetto sporting a pretty cool paint scheme for you this weekend. We'll show it to you here first on NASCAR.com because NASCAR Heat Evolution is on the side of this race car. And uh, I'll tell you what, last week in Chicago, I got a chance to play NASCAR Heat Evolution in a uh, pretty darn cool game, even down to the things like seeing the sun glare come off, dance off the side of these cars and, and the windshield uh, was just something very special. So it's amazing how far uh, gaming has come and how realistic it has gotten in the NASCAR world. Pilot truck stops number 46 right here. Michael Annette talking with his crew at the back of the garage area, getting ready for practice number one here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Josh Wise is number 30 at the towards the end of the garage here. Jeffrey Earnhardt, the continuation of his rookie season here in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Reed Sorensen, Cole Witt in the number 98. I wonder if we could squeak through here. I don't think we can. You see some tools there and no. So we're gonna take down a walk. New Hampshire Motor Speedway, the magic mile as we like to call it. It's played host to Sprint Cup Series races here since 1993, Rusty Wallace, the first winner here. I've been coming here since the place opened, modified shows, and of course, a lot of action this weekend. So, hey, by the way, speaking of action, there he is. S.J. Golombeski. <laughs> That's, I just love, I love S.J. I love busting him. Anyway, uh, a lot of action here this weekend at Loudon for race fans. So if you've never been here, you got to check it out. We got the Wheel and Modified Tour, the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, and the American Canadian Tour, ACT cars, the late models. And there he is, Chris Busher. All right, man, uh, you got uh, two really strong uh, finishes in the uh, uh, Xfinity series here at Loudon. Uh, how do you try to transfer some of that knowledge over here for your second race in the Cup Series here? Yeah, I, um, actually, I was pretty happy with our, our first run here yeah. uh, earlier this season, and I uh, was spun out uh, trying to trying to avoid a crash, and uh, just as some of our luck would have it this year. So, um, you know, I'm excited about coming back. I like short track racing in general. Uh, you know, we have a, a good piece with our, our Love Sport Fusion here. Just excited to get on track. It's pretty much dry now, so we're ready to roll. You know, uh, most tracks that we kind of consider short tracks, you can hustle the car. Here, you can hustle the car, but you got to be very careful because you have to be very delicate in these long corners. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of patience required here, which is uh, different for short tracks. Uh, I feel like we're out of the throttle for an incredibly long period of time. So, um, you know, we try to make sure we get that, that turn through the center and make sure you can roll that speed uh, but at the same time I think everybody's always going to fight tight center here so uh, it just we need to fight it less than others. All right Chris Busher, the number 34 car right here thanks for joining us on Garage Cam as this loves truck stop uh, travel center crew prepares this machine Bob Decker here and the boys working hard on that number 34 Ford. A one-time winner here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Casey Kane in the uh, number five Great Clips machine. The last time we were here at Loudon, it was uh, a very crazy weekend for the number 88 crew because it was uh, just when Dale Earnhardt Jr. had announced that he would be stepping out of this ride with concussion-like symptoms. And Alex Bowman filled the seat. Of course, Jeff Gordon went on to win a, uh, run a bunch of races in this number 88, but uh, Alex Bowman back behind the wheel here. Uh, has five cup starts here 
at Charlotte uh, at uh, New Hampshire Motor Speedway. So he has some experience here. It's a and of course uh, has a, a race under his belt with this team here. So obviously when you return to a racetrack with the same team, uh, there's going to be improvement. And the number 88 had a pretty good run going here in July. So uh, definitely expect to see good things from Alex Bowman this weekend. And there is Bowman uh, texting me. I don't, I don't know, I wonder who he's texting. But he is talking to his crew chief right there. Getting ready for this practice session to get underway here. Everybody anticipating that we should get this practice off on time. I don't know official word right now, but the uh, track drying efforts have been going on for, I'd say about a good 35 minutes, 40 minutes by now. So uh, we should see some dry track. And there he is, Bowman the showman. All right, man, a lot less pressure than the last time you were here. Yeah, I knew what I was doing on Thursday afternoon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, ready to go. Got to thank everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. They've been super welcoming. And obviously, Loudon's been rough for me over the years. But I think we were really strong here in yeah. the spring, and we can be strong here again this All race. Right. Uh, I, I got to ask you, this place here, uh, having experience here is one thing. But having uh, this be the first race that you come to twice with this team, how does that how does that make you feel confidence wise? It really just gives us a, a notebook to rely on, you know, definitely can be more confident than we were the first time here and, and go from there. So Greg and all the guys have worked really hard and been great to work with. So um, I, it's just definitely a lot more confidence. All right, Alex Bowman, Bowman the showman right here in the number 88 nationwide drive. Kyle Larson alongside the number 42 sitting 15th in points right now. Five races here, uh, two top 10 finishes. 2014, he had that runner-up performance. And there is Kevin Harvick, dusting on the tires right there. <coughs> Getting ready here for practice at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And there is Kevin sitting at the back of the trailer. And Kyle Larson joins us here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Hey, we're just talking to Busher about this place, how a lot of people consider it a short track, even though it's a mile long. Usually at a short track, you can hustle a car. This place is a little different. Yeah, I, I, I consider it a short track as well. Um, you know, it's flat and slow. Uh, you're always kind of racing somebody. Um, but yeah, to me, here you gotta got gotta be really smooth with with everything your hands your feet um, so it's tricky uh, for me I struggle here but uh, we got gotten a little bit better at the short track stuff this year so um, see what we can learn today and try and help us for the for Sunday. All right, Kyle Larson, this number 42 car. He has a runner-up finish here at Loudon, so don't count him out. Deep in the standings right now after Chicago, but. The way this team has been performing, the way the speed they've had off the trailer each week is a clear indication at the strength of that number 42. <coughs> Austin Dillon. Hey, if you like pumpkin, you gotta love this car right here. Little orange, man, we got cinnamon sticks on this car. That is pretty cool. Cinnamon sticks and pumpkin spice Cheerios. If I didn't already have breakfast, I'd be jonesing right now for some pumpkin spice Cheerios. Uh, I do eat Cheerios a lot in the morning, but uh, pumpkin Cheerios definitely raises my eyebrow. So I might have to go and buy it just because it's on one of these race cars. Remember folks, support the products that support your support. I've preached that my whole life. NASCAR.com Garage Cam, Tony Stewart, this number 14 car. Tony Stewart, the three-time winner here at the Magic Mile. Sitting 12 in points. 34 races he's run here. Smoke. Craig, cameraman extraordinary. Here's Jamie McMurray's car being rolled out by his crew. Some Northeast routes for some of these guys right here, modified racing. This guy right here used to work on Teddy Christopher's modified. Coca-Cola McDonald's team. Pasa 
Automation, number 41 here. Of Kurt Bush, a multi-time winner here at the Magic Mile. The number 19 of Carl Edwards. Zero wins here, but uh, he does have a runner-up finish here. But it's back in 2006, so uh, not the best track for Carl Edwards. But you know, you can't always look at statistics. Jimmy Johnson, two-time winner. Man, he had one heck of a run going last week at Chicagoland Speedway. And uh, you want to talk about roller coaster weekends for Jimmy Johnson, a roller coaster race, but it didn't end during the after the race. Uh, it, it continued in post-race tech where they failed the laser inspection. But uh, Jimmy Johnson, this Lowe's crew, definitely showed that the Chevrolets and Hendrick Motorsports camp is on the map with these dominant Toyotas this season. The last time we were at Loudon, New Hampshire, this car right here, Matt Kenseth, was in victory lane, one of his two wins on the season. This place, New Hampshire, has become like Pocono. It's become a little streaky. 2014, we saw the Penske cars sweep action at Loudon. Last year, it was the JGR camp that swept the races at New Hampshire. And hey, three in a row for JGR with Kenseth's win this year. Can they make it four in a row? Can they sweep this season at the JGR Toyota camp? Wisconsin's Matthew Kenseth would like to do that. Buzzy and the boys getting this car ready. Carl Edwards was over there. We we're going to go talk to him, but he's in a deep conversation right now. Tony Stewart, one last time here at the Magic Mile, signing an old Home Depot car as he walks through the garage area. Of course, a uh, former Joe Gibbs Racing driver. Yet again, oh so close. That's been the story of 2016 for Chase Elliott, the Dawsonville, Georgia native and the Snappa Auto Parts team. When that caution came out, you knew he was shaking his head. First time in the chat room, and I'd like to see Joey Logano and Elliott, please, says Justin, excuse me, Ru, Ru, Ruth, Ruth. Hey, Ruth from Wisconsin. Welcome to the show. First time in the chat. That is awesome. Um, Classic NASCAR, sad not being in the garage at New Hampshire. See you in July next year. Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh, Classic NASCAR uh, that you chimed in. And, uh, yes, we do miss you and everybody uh, that comes through this garage. Uh, if you're ever at a racetrack, hit me up. I love uh, seeing you guys. Cheryl Ashley signing in from Lebanon, New Hampshire. Be there later tomorrow. Well, just enjoying the day up here in New Hampshire. Make sure you're here tomorrow. Tomorrow is one heck of a day here at Loudon with a like triple, quadruple, there's four different divisions of racing. That'll be on track next, uh, tomorrow at Loudon, New Hampshire. Joey Logano on his phone. I think he's uh, tweeting out that Garage Cam is live right now on NASCAR.com. I'm sure he is. Uh, you were doing that, right? You're promoting us? Of course. Yeah, yeah of course. NASCAR Garage Cam is live yeah. right now on NASCAR.com. Na yeah, yeah. NASCAR I mean, exactly. Uh, Joseph Liana, you, you know what a lobster uh, feels like here. And uh, but let, let, let's talk about something else. You know, I noticed something in Chicago. Uh, the way you guys, you know, maybe didn't have a car to win, but you ended up finishing second. You guys could be maybe a surprise car this year because last year you came into the chase with a multitude of wins. This right. year you didn't. So people weren't picking you as a favorite, but there's so much speed right now out of this Penske camp. Yeah, we had decent speed. We weren't far off. We weren't a winning car, you're right, but we were a uh, uh, third to seventh place car, maybe a fourth to seventh place car. Um, so we had decent speed, but we had great execution, yep. which got us a great finish. And that's what it's all about. You know, uh, NASCAR racing isn't all about fast car. Helps a lot, but there's a lot more to the, to the puzzle to put it all together. So uh, I was proud of what everyone did last week. I mean, they even did a was on it last week so uh <laughs> it's a great way to start off the season because you never know like you know the chase starts it's kind of like going daytona at the beginning of the year you're kind of like okay where are we going to stack up what's going to happen well, the chase starts Devin brings their latest and greatest stuff and you but don't maybe know this year happen. you didn't have as much expectation as the year before which might could help this team i thought we did pretty good last year yeah i think we're ready again this year i think we're just as strong as we were last year in my opinion so um 
I'm ready to get the homestead. We got nine weeks to get there. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Well, we'll see you there, there for sure, but we'll get there. maybe maybe in that top four, yeah. Joey Logano in his number 22 ride right here. Well, apparently, we're about done. So let's motor through here real quick, show you the number 11 of Denny Hamlin. We got to show you all the cars. I know we're uh, maybe in overtime right now. The number 18 of Kyle Busch, I think practice is a little delayed, it looks like, because uh, some of these drivers are not in their cars yet. So we might roll off a few minutes late. So if we go into overtime here, I don't think we'll get too much trouble. Well, there is the Brad Keselowski machine, four-time winner this year, and another four-time winner right alongside the JGR camp, looking for win number four in a row here at Loudon, Kyle Busch. So let's roll over here, because how could we have Garage Cam this week without showing you one of the most dominant cars of the season, Martin Truex Jr. in this number 78 Denver mattress car, Truex, uh, the win in Chicago. And here's the thing, 1,266 laps led in the 2016 season. That's unbelievable. And between he, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, that three-way combo has led nearly 50% of the laps this season in NASCAR Sprint Cup Series competition. Truex and Cole Pern chatting right there. Remember to tune into NASCAR Drive on NASCAR.com. During the race, you'll see the in-car cameras of Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, the number 11 of Denny Hamlin, the 24 of Chase Elliott, the number 20 of Matt Kenseth, and the 88 of Alex Bowman. Make sure to tune in to the Bad Boy Off-Road 300, 2 p.m. NBC Sports Network, PRN on the radio, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, and until next time, we'll see you at the races.